Now, let me tell you about a lion. If you put a lion in a cage that is fortified with the trees, you put poles around and you put a lion inside. No matter how strong it may be, what a lion begins to do, a lion begins to hit the poles. It will hit here. It will see how strong it is. It will go another direction. And we hit this area. So the lion will keep on hitting. Will keep on hitting. And will go back to where the lion had started. Then it starts again. Until where one pole begins to shake. The lion now knows I have found a place. Oh, am I talking to somebody here? I have now found what? The lion will spend the whole night just hitting that area. Hitting that area. And begin to shake even more. Keep on hitting that area. Hitting that area. Fighting that area. Until the lion breaks through. You will come in the morning. You won't find the lion in the cage. Because there was one weak area. What the devil does around you. He's, he knows how strong you are. And he keeps on hitting things. He keep on checking. The Bible says he rose like a lion, seeking whom? Like a lion. Seeking. So he behaves like a lion. He hits all weak places, like way, 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 way. So when he sees, oh, come on, this woman, she's weak financially, he will spend his own night in your finances. And I'm telling you, no matter how tongues you speak, no matter how prayerful you pray, no matter how giving you give. But my friend, if you give the devil a foothold, if you give him an opportunity, he will, he will finish you. He will finish you. So you'll be wondering what's going on. I pray, I speak in tongues, I go to church, but what happens? You have so many things around you that he's actually tearing apart financially. Raise your right hand. And he says, I raise my hand. I submit to God. I resist the devil. Somebody say amen.